Hello everyone, welcome back to Bruce's Bees. It's October 10th, I'm in Midland City, Alabama. Today's objectives are simple. Number one, we're gonna apply some Apigard for our second treatment. Number two, we're gonna check the weight on these colonies. And number three, we're gonna look at the overall health of these colonies out here. I was out here a couple of weeks ago. If you'll remember, we peeked in on some of these colonies and there were some mixed reviews. Some of them looked really good. Some of them looked a little bit weak and I was a little concerned about them. Came out last week and applied Apigard for the first treatment and they looked much better. Apparently there was some type of a flow going on. Uh, you can see over here, the cotton is basically done. It's just absolutely beautiful. I put a bucket of syrup out here as a test to see if they would take it. And they didn't touch it for a few days, which means there was a nice flow going on. And last week, frankly, when I was out here, the bees looked much better. Uh, they were kind of putting some nectar and honey in these colonies. It was amazing the difference a week made. But today the bucket is empty, which means that our flow is more than likely over those bees have taken that syrup. And so let's get in these colonies and check their weight, apply a second dose of Apigard, and uh, just look at the general well-being of the colonies. Uh, thanks for watching Bruce's Bees, and if y'all get a chance to hit that like button, I would appreciate it to help push this video out to more people. So here's a bucket of Apigard. As you can see, I've already used part of this one. Basically, you're supposed to stir it up really good before use, and a full dose is, I think, 50, uh, the 51 uh, milliliters right there, milligrams. Uh, but since it's been getting warm, I've just been putting a half a dose in there. It's been getting up into the 80s uh, during the day. And so it says that can be an effective treatment uh, done one to two weeks apart for up to three to four treatments. And so uh, these are the cards you put it on right here. You can also use, I've heard, just any kind of any little platform for them, playing face cards. But these come with the Apigar, these little cards to apply it with. So I've been using 25 to 30 milliliters like that in these in the full strength colonies and uh, the small nukes I've been doing about half that. These are the bees uh, from Jose, the California beekeeper with Uribe honey bees. Uh, what they've done is they've packed this box here with honey. So I put the Apigard on the next level down. So I put it between the honey and the brood. You want to have it, I think, as close to the brood as possible, if my understanding is right. They really have this thing glued down, but man, what a difference, like I said, a, a week or two has made here. Man, that is a full box of honey. So we got good weight on this hive. There's the Apigard that I put in there a week ago. Look at all those bees. Isn't that a healthy looking colony? Jose, your bees are doing good. So I'm gonna pull this card out. So see how they're chewing the edges off this card right here? But I think I'm gonna reuse it. There's still plenty of card left to use, but I'm gonna scrape off the uh, Apigard that's left over. So let's do that. Kinda hard to scrape off. Let's just pull out a frame. I'll show you what these bees look like. Man, look at them though. Wow. Let's see if we have a little brood here. Now I'm gonna be very careful. I realize this is kind of in the center of the box, but we're going to be real careful pulling it out. Beautiful frame right there. The bees are fairly calm. I think we got some uh, anyway, we got a beautiful frame of bees, beautiful box of bees, these bees are going to do great, I think, through the winter, and they'll be on a truck to go into California in the spring if everything works out as planned. Look at that beautiful frame right there. Man, Jose, Queen's doing great. Golly, lots of bees in here. So ideally, you would take an outside frame out first but I found as long as you're super careful, you'll be okay. I don't really plan to go into every box like that. I kind of did that last week a little bit and checked for brood, uh, but we're just mainly here to look at the overall strength of the colonies, the weight of the colonies, which is really good to reapply the Apigard. Now, be real careful and set it right here. I normally would just leave it off to the side, but it'll be in there. Let's set it right here where you can see. I just says to stir it up really good, so I just found a stick over there. Make sure it's stirred up. I 
and this syringe it's got the levels here i'm just doing about a half a dose i'm going to do between 25 and 30 grams i think it's grams and milliliters are about the same on here you see it just pulls right up in there like that Put it on the card. Squirts right out like this. And I found that if you kind of tap it down on something, it flattens it out. You can use a hive tool to kind of spread it out too. I normally use the top of a beehive or whatever to do that with, but for demonstration purposes, just see how it flattens it out. And just set it in here on top of the brood area, like that. Box of food back on top with a lid. And we're pretty much good to go. I do see a few hive beetles running around, but this colony's strong enough, I don't think that's really an issue right now. This is the colony next door to that first one. Look at that, a very similar story. Once again, uh, one of Jose's queens. Now, if you look at these lids right here, they have what we call a patty rim around them. So you can put pollen patties in here. You can put your apple guard on the top if it's at the top of the colony and they work well. Uh, some people use shims for things like that. Those work really well. Oh, heavy, heavy. Similar story right here. Starting to chew the card. And if any of them are chewed too bad, I'll just replace the card. I got some extra cards. Population in this colony is not quite as strong, but there's plenty of bees in here. And I think we're in good shape. Plenty of food. Got a half a dose again. Put it on what's left of the card. Kind of beat it down. It will be out of there. Set it back on there. Put the Super back on there. And that's all there is to it. Now, on some of the boxes, when I went through them, the brood was more in the top, and then I just put the card on top. But these out here, the brood is mostly in that bottom deep. So I'm gonna go through the rest of these and do this and check on them and see how they're doing. These two right here are looking great, really good weight, uh, good population of bees going into winter. So I'm pretty excited about that and I may not need to feed them right away, um, but we'll keep a close eye on that. As y'all can tell, I found a colony that's not real nice, and it's right over there. The rest of them are great for the most part, but that one not so much. So I'll we'll have to do something to deal with it in the spring. Uh, but overall, I'm excited about the strength of these colonies. I think they're looking good. Uh, we've got uh, good food stores in most of them. Uh, we got good strength in most of them, and the apple guard is applied. So we're done for right now, at least for the next little while. Mine would have changed from a couple of weeks ago. They look a lot better. They really packed it in here over the last few days. Anyway, if you'd like to see the video, 
where I peaked in these colonies a couple of weeks ago uh, to check their strengths so you can see the difference between then and now. You can watch it right here. Y'all take care, be safe, and we'll catch you in the next one.